Sing along, fucks, and they'll do it. Yeah. Is this heavy enough for you? This music isn't heavy enough for you, is it? No, but Ireland's got Primordial, one of the fucking best black metal bands out there. Fighting in front of a crowd like this one day? Fight in front of any crowd or no crowd. If someone's got a heartbeat, they deserve to have their ass kicked. When are we going to see you jump into Bring the Warmaster back. Ask Bellator. Also, ask all the the, the weak-hearted son of a bitches that keep turning me down and don't want to fight me. Who's turning you down, Josh? I'm not naming names. You know, I'll let them slink away and sit in their cowardice. You know, they know it. It's just like uh, it's like pissing your pants and not changing your clothes. It doesn't matter if they dry out at the end of the day. You know what's going on. Are you looking for one of the kind of the new breed of heavyweights? Are you looking for maybe one of the old guys? You know, maybe a Rampage or a, you know, that Fedor fight. Obviously, was talking about your good friends. Um, maybe not, but is it one of those guys you're looking for? Well, I would really love to fight uh, Fyodor just because he's a legend. He is one of my friends, which, strangely enough, you usually don't want to fight your friends, but I have that much respect and love for him. To be in the ring with him would be amazing. He's he's incredible, and I don't. I'm not one of those people that looks at. You know what his last fight was i don't really care you know um i've been there when i've seen him do great things i know he's a really capable fighter and before there's no opportunity for us to to, to actively compete in a uh you know a real full-on contest i hope i get the chance if it never happens it never happens but yeah it's a it's a personal wish of mine because i love him as for Rampage, I don't really want to fight Rampage. We used to train together all the time. And uh, all I want, the only fighting Rampage, I maybe I'd fight him at Tekken or fight him at Street Fighter or something like that. But uh, yeah, I, uh, I love that guy too. Maybe in Bloodsport? <laughs> yeah, maybe in Bloodsport. Maybe in Josh Bonnet's Bloodsport. We could bring Rampage along. He's a big fan of professional wrestling, so we'll see if he's got what it takes. It's all like a good tournament. They've got a lot of veteran heavyweights on the books. Could, could we see maybe a, a Legends tournament, a heavyweight tournament in Bellator? Would you be down for a bit of that? Well, they got the funding, I'm sure. Uh, I'm down for whatever, but if we're doing a tournament, it's one night. We're too old. If you stretch us out over the rest of a year, we might get geriatric, senile, forget that we're where we're supposed to be. Uh, maybe our Social Security kicks in, so now we don't want to actually fight anymore. We're getting that, that good government money. I don't know. but. If we're gonna do a tournament, we gotta do it all in one night. Let's do it like the real men used to do. Stop all this bullshit. And you know, the commissions out there, you know, trust, trust the men that get out there. We can go, uh, well, let's see, eight, three fights, five minute rounds, three five minute rounds a piece each night, or each fight, we're fine. Hell, I think five minutes is not enough time. I think we need 10 minute first rounds at the very least, because when you got guys trying to find their, their edge, uh, I think you saw it with that last fight with Benson Henderson and uh, Miles Jury. Um, I think maybe 10 minutes they might have sorted one another out, but five minute rounds, it just wasn't enough. You saw a repeat of, of every single round until maybe the last 45 seconds. Uh, jury tried to, tried to pick it up a little bit, but otherwise it looked like two very skilled fighters really trying to sort out where that weakness was going to open up. And, you know, although I'm happy for, uh, for Benson to win, man. He's a Pacific Northwest kid, originally from Tacoma. I'm from Ballard in Seattle. So, uh, you know, seeing, seeing uh, well, I guess technically he's a 253 area code kid. I'm 206, but I still got love for him. You made your, you made your legend, if you like, over in, over in Japan, and you're still a beloved figure over there. Bellator working with Ryzen these days. How much would it mean to one day step through those, through those ropes again at the Saitama Super Arena and do it all again for those fans over in Japan? Oh, 100%. I mean, it wouldn't take hardly anything except, well, except for a lot of money but to get me over in japan and uh and to fight i mean it is a still a home to me i still have i have athletes i got victor henry over in ryzen he's the deep bantamweight champion he's been on a storm got Alyssa garcia has been fighting in ryzen fighting in deep uh, i've always had roots in japan i'm still the open weight king of pancreas so as far as japanese uh fight fans and fight scene is concerned i'm one of the biggest names over there and you know if if ryzen's got this this, this uh, set up with Bellator together to, to put together a super card at the end of the year, then if I'm not on it, it doesn't make any sense whatsoever. And I'm not trying to be in that kind of upside down bullshit world. Without being uh, too disrespectful or anything like that, you're at the veteran stage of your career right now. You're looking at- No, no, no go ahead, be disrespectful. 
you're not as old as me, I don't think, so you're okay. But when, what's the end game for Josh Barnett in terms of mixed martial arts? If you could go out on one fight, what would that fight be? And where would it be? I don't know what the dream fight would be. I mean, Volkan's already retired, so that's out of the question. And Alexander Karelin really didn't really fight anyway. So, you know, that, that's the kind of shit I'm thinking about. Uh, but, um, look, here's the deal. I just want to bathe myself in blood until I can't anymore. When that day comes, I'll know it and that's fine. And then I'll teach others to do the same. But I'm not here to ever stop fighting, it's just that once this competitive window, this this fighting in the arena and all that kind of stuff is over with for me, I'll, I'll know it. But I gotta gotta have that chance. I gotta be out there. I wanna see I wanna see the lions at my doorstep until you know it's time to close the close those gates and, and move on. Thanks very much, Josh. Thank you.